You're hurt, I'm hurting too. And I'm thinking about your love. What's that? Can you hear that? If you need someone to care, I'll be there. Who's that? Who's that? You should know I'm never changed. Today and always. What are you doing, mate? Uh, a few carols and make a bit of money for yourself. Come back on Christmas, mate, for God's sake. If you're hurt, I'm hurting too. And I'm thinking about your love. If you need oh, that's someone beautiful. to care, is that Kenny T? Will is Kenny T? Will, is that Kenny Thomas? Because I'm thinking about, about your love tonight, today, tonight, and, and always. always. Oh, that's beautiful. 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 That ain't bad. It's not bad, is it? Fancy a Chinese? Actually, that'll do. Fancy a Chinese? Of course he does. Hearing those words from Big John is like being proposed to, with less egg and more Kumpo prawns. And who better to have a Chinese with than Kenny Thomas, soul singing legend, rock and roller and straight up geezer. He's had eight UK top 40 singles and two top 10 UK albums. This man's got a set of bagpipes on him. Come in, come in. Kenny's here. How are you? Thank you so How much, much, Kenny. How are you? Oh, shh. Welcome to episode seven of the Big John Chinese sit down. And as you know, We've got Kenny Thomas, aka Kenny T, round our gaff for a bit of the good stuff, Chinese. A massive thank you to all of our sponsors for making this possible. The Full Works Project, Terrace Colt, Fire Snuff and Gravel Master. They're all top firms who can sort you right out. Go to the description on this video to check out their websites. But anyway, now Kenny was here, it was time for Big John to order the goods, the Chinese. Bosh. Richard, you okay? You ready for our Big John Chinese sit-down order? Yes, I'm ready. Right, we've got Kenny Thomas tonight, and he said he doesn't like pork dishes. So, right. we'll have a spicy pork, a roast pork Chinese style, barbecue pork spare ribs, and Kenny can go f*** himself. Bash! Bash! Keep them on now, I want them anyway. Right, we'll have a, a special fried rice, an egg fried rice, a plain char min, a shredded chicken charming, Singapore rice noodle. We'll have some Kung Po prawn, salt and chili king prawn, roast up Chinese style, shredded chili beef, sweet and sour chicken Hong Kong style, sweet and sour, uh, no, yes, yeah, chicken balls. You do pork balls. I'll have a prawn balls. Uh, can we have uh, Charlotte shout that mini spring rolls? Yeah, and can we have a plain mixed veg for the healthy part of us? Right, do you reckon that's about right, Richard? Yes, about right. I see you. We'd be about half seven, is that all right? Half seven, I'll just Johnny. Lovely. Later, all the best. Take Bye. care, mate. Bye. See you later. Bosh. Bosh. The Chinese was ordered, and it's safe to say, Big John was looking forward to this one. Looking forward to this one. The Chinese order had been made. Let's get back to Kenny T. I'll be going out this one. Kenny Thomas Bob. Brilliant to talk this one. Yeah, how you doing, man? I the Chinese. You're a stupid. I said, Kenny, Emery, Emery, film this bit. I said to Kenny, we're going to see if Charlotte goes red because you used to be to Kenny's biggest fan, didn't you? Yeah. Well, yeah. 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 No, I did, yeah. It's all over there. Oh, yeah. that was the words. So, yeah. 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 But they, they totally ripped me apart. Do you know what? Even the boys have been playing all your records. Yeah, they're really good, though, aren't they? We're yes. talking about Hollywoods back in the day. That's where me and Charlotte met when many me years and, ago. Me and Daddy met. <laughs> Why did I bloody have to go to Hollywood that night? It was, it was the biggest club, wasn't it, right? Yeah, yeah. And all the stuff. Yeah. It's like attic. It's like attic. It's like us going to attic. Hopefully, I'll meet my lovely lady in attic. I never used to drink when I was young. I didn't drink my first pint until I was 25. I know. Now look at me. How's it going? Yeah, I'm all walking. Kenny Thomas is round, we're going to get a Chinese. Kenny, you sit in the front, sir. Let me in the front, yeah? Yeah, yeah. all right. That's not me getting custom stuff. A bit of a tight squeeze. Oh, tight squeeze. Very intimate. It was a tight squeeze indeed, but the lads were out, and looking like a dysfunctional boy band, they were ready to hit the Blue Orchid and pick up the Chinese. These lads made quite a team, and although Kenny T was a newcomer, he seemed to fit right in with a Wilbertross and J-Bone, like a pie to two mash in Robin's Pie Mash. And he fit in so well in Romford Town because he knew how to look after himself, but he was a charmer at the same time, a deadly combo that one can only be born with. And let's not forget Big John, 
There was only one thing on his mind at this moment. Well, actually, there was probably several dozen things on his mind if we count all the Chinese dishes he was thinking about right now. But more specifically, he was thinking about getting that Chinese out of the Blue Orchid and home safe. To him, this was the highest of the century. Because when you step foot in the Blue Orchid, no matter who you are, you have to be wary of a few things. And the first thing was this man, Ruthless Richard. One wrong move, and he'd be serving you to the next customer. But he wasn't even the one you needed to worry about. The one to watch out for was this man, Dangerous Daniel. But luckily for the lads, things seem to be going smoothly tonight. Look at this. Look, Kenny's a big eater, he told me. Yeah, he's a big eater. Yeah. Right. right, boys, you get the Chinese. I'll sort out the uh, gun, Richard and Daniel were in a good mood, and the Chinese was collected with no problems. Kenny Thomas's first job as a boss soldier had been a success. His contributions to the Kung Pao Empire won't go unnoticed by Big John. The boys bundled back into the Bosch mobile with five heavy bags of pure product. Amateurs say you can't mix pleasure with business, but professionals, well, our only pleasure comes from successful business, and that's what we had here today. Right, we're living life to the full. Five bags of Chinese with the main man, the legend that is. Kenny Thomas. Bah. 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 Chinese, Saturday night. Chinese! Saturday night treat. Chinese! Sunday's a new Saturday. A bit of Chinese. Chinese, courtesy of David Chang. Bash! Bash! Red velvet cake. Bash! Bash! Beef Wellington. Bow, bow. Finally, Big John was dishing up. It was time to relax and have a Chinese with the legend, Kenny Thomas. This look, you can't beat the blue orchid. Look at that. Barbecue sauce from the ribs. Over the fried rice. How often do you have Chinese, Kenny? Every now and then, yeah. Big curry like fan, it. though. Oh, you yeah. like curry? My wife's from Cape Town, South Africa. Oh, is she? So she, she cooks. Oh, yeah, a lot of curry and food. Yeah, yeah, and then I, um, I can make some decent food, like spicy food, you know. Well, I've got salt and chilli, king prawns, Singapore rice noodle, a barbecue spare rib, special fried rice, prawn balls, kung pao prawns, spicy pork, chicken chow mein, and a sesame prawn toast. Yeah, nice. Lovely. Trust me, if you like your Chinese, you cannot beat the blue orchid. That's the best. The amount of people, mm. that when I said he was coming, because not everyone will know, like the younger generation, a lot of them won't know who you are, but so many people. Oh, Kenny, one of my mm. favourite singers. I remember Kenny. It's just like, it's been good to, it's just like one of our mm. main memories growing up was your songs. Mm. Yeah. You know, you had, you had like, what I can remember is Rick Ashley yourself. Billy Ocean. Yeah, he was a bit before me. Yeah, Rick was, wasn't he? Yeah. He was a, you came after me. I came in 1991. But like, that's what I said, because when, yeah, you was more when me and Charlotte were more settled down sort of thing. But it's just, it's just mad, because like, you're in the songs I know, I know the songs. Yeah, yeah, you know. You can hear them still playing a bit on the radio as well, don't I? Yeah. Every now and again. Charlotte, how old's Emily? Well, she's nine years younger than me, 39. 39. Yeah. Yeah, so she loves your songs. Well, she's a good, she's been, oh, she did, Mm. Sing one to me on the voice <laughs> and I Have you got it? Please. Please. Come on, come on. Yeah. Come on, look, quick. It's got Emily's voice out. I've got to find it. Bear with me. Yeah. She'll tell me off. Do you have all I've got the words. Oh, it's Emily. Yeah. Oh, it's Emily. Yeah. 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 If you're hurt, I've heard it too. And I'm thinking about your love. If you need someone to care, I'll be there. I don't think Kelly's very impressed. No, Emery, Emery now's just trying to put a nice photo of Emily up. Yeah. To show who's, who's Emily, singing. Emily's embarrassed herself. Yeah. Kenny's going on now. They did back back in vocals, so I know where to go. <laughs> yeah, not here. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Sometimes, William, the double dip is the best part. Yeah. And it is cold. Do you know what I mean? Even yeah, half yeah, it's yeah. gone. Especially with Stuart picking that in. We have to run it around, find the nice bits. He's got pole position, hasn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All just never. Exactly. When was like yeah, your first cool. record? When you got done and you made it big with the first record, where was you? What, what happened? Can you talk us talk to us about the feeling of it and 
Well, the first record was outstanding. Obviously, it was yeah. a cover version of the Gap Band's record. They, they'd had a minor hit with it in 86, 1986, and I come along real quite cheekily covering it in, yeah. in 80, in sorry, 1990. 1990, it sort of started to bubble through the yeah. clubs, but then it, it didn't chart very high. It charted quite low. Uh, 79, I think it was. Oh, really? You know, back then, you needed to get in a reasonable position and climb up the yeah, charts, yeah. you know, mm-hmm. for over a number of weeks. You needed certain things to happen, TV shows to kick in, all the rest of it. And so we, um, we didn't give up on the record. In 91, we pursued it again, and we... My manager flew over to, at the time, flew over to New York and got a rap on it by a, a hip hop group called The Black Sheep. And so we put out a 12 inch extended new, slightly new mix with that rap on it. And then at that point it took off and it was huge in the clubs. And then we just landed a bit of radio and a bit of TV. So and it was like gradual rather than so radio, you actually, TV. So you actually and like, released it twice? You released it twice. So in 91 was when it actually took off. And then we got a few TV shows and Radio 1 picked up and it kept the radio and as I say, the rest is history. That was your first then we were on top of the pops. That was, like your first, that was your first yeah, big one. That was the first big one, yeah. So it was more of a gradual, it's not like you woke up in the morning and it was like overnight, it was... Uh, no. That's, that's better really, because you can manage... Kind of, by the time it happened in 91, it, was not, it wasn't exactly overnight, but it... No. But what you're but, saying, it's all about perseverance as well, isn't it? Just but in terms going. of perception, people yeah. did say, I came out of nowhere and it, there it was, you yeah. know. You've been working in years. In the, uh, you are right. You've been fancy yourself a bit of a soul singer. Yeah, not as good as Ken, Kenny Thomas. Oh, give us a bit. No, you're all right. Yeah. Yeah. William's in his... When I was singing outside the door, shout one, shout one of you was harmonising, weren't yeah. you? Who was harmonising? I thought we did a lovely lovely sketch. Yeah, yeah. very so good. Doing a few harmonies. We right? started hard yeah, on it. Maybe sing along as well. He's been a dog. That's his compliment, my bad. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you're, you're a good harmonizer from mm. Kenny Thomas. Mm. So you'll never, you'll never leave that. That'll never leave you, will? Yeah, no. you, that's your claim. Can't right. Right. Harmonizer yeah. by Kenny Thomas. But yeah. then he did say Emily Man's was good as well. Skills. Emily, yeah, he did say Emily was good. So I think he's just making us feel good. He's better than Emily. Oh, better than Emily. Yeah. One hundred percent, hands down. She's gonna, uh, She's gonna be great. <laughs> She'll never forgive me. No. Well, she deserves it. That was a terrible effort. So you close with your dad, Kenny? Oh, me and my dad, yeah, yeah, yeah. We had their moments. All dads and sons mm. have their moments. But no, I was close with my dad. Yeah, yeah, I miss him. And obviously, the boxing was a big thing, you know. Yeah. He was a great fighter in his day. That was ten years early, you know. That's amateur. Was he was open class, hundred and twelve fights, one ninety, and then went on to be a pro. But then that was his pro career was hampered by different things like. The, Divorce from his first wife at yeah. the time, so yeah, those, those things get things in the way. way. They yeah. get in the way of yeah, a program. Totally, totally. That's uh, the thing with professional boxing. You just got to be dedicated and not have any distractions, mm. and then you've got it half a mm. chance. You know. Luckily, Johnny doesn't speak to any women, yeah. so he can so I'm never going yeah. <laughs> to get in danger of a divorce. Yeah. No. Get yeah. 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 Do that at the end of career. It's not worth it, is it? At the beginning. Oh, and have you been seen any big fights live? Has that been a passion of yours or not? You're not really... I've seen Tyson fight. I've met him a couple of times. I've sung for him a couple of times, Tyson. But I've like seen Tyson. him fight and I yeah. haven't went to see Ricky Hatton yeah. fight and, you know, the usual the usual stuff. Yeah, Ricky Hatton. Sang for Mike Tyson. Mm. That's, a, that's a claim to fame. Yeah. Weren't well, in the prison showers, was it? No, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's coming. <laughs> no, my biggest hope was singing for Muhammad Ali. That's the biggest one, yeah. Doing a, a meeting him. Yeah, so, see, I, think, I think more about the fighters I've met over the years than I do the musicians, being yeah. people like Tommy Earns and... Yeah. They're true greats, aren't they? Yeah. Mock, Someone we? said to me today, uh, they were saying, um, they can't call you fat, they've got to call you hyper-nourished. <laughs> fat is yeah. a hate crime. He's hyper, he's, he's hyper-nourished. Fat? No, yeah, no that's not hate crime. I won't have to get arrested, <laughs> yeah. it's a hate crime. Yeah, yeah. Okay. hyper-nourished, I like that. Yeah, you're hyper-nourished. You're hyper-nourished. Yeah. <laughs> you're hyper-nourished. <laughs> 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 Oh, you're hibernating. You're looking very hibernated mm. today. I'm getting ready to hibernate. You can't say anything about anyone, so look, comedy's no, right. Yeah, 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 you, you, can't, you, can't, you can't say anything. You can't take the mic out of you. It's not allowed. Yeah. Well, I'm the, uh, I've got no air. I'm bald. I'm ugly. But I've got a good sense of humour, so, yeah. you know, the Doesn't ladies love me. Talking the mic, ta- uh, taking the mic out of people, so I'm sure you're... Really uh, ready to know what happened to William in Mexico. What happened? I'm pleased to announce what happened? he's still a virgin. Yep. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I think we put that one to bed last well, time, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah. Johnny, we cleared that one up. So yeah. our man wouldn't have survived in today's culture because he was, my dad was a no, mega my, my, my dad. He was, was, he was a master of this taking. How long has your dad been gone? Done 2015. So eight years. Got to mom. Yeah, my dad was 2012. 11 years. Yeah. Different generation though, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah different. They brought up different, but 
Mm. I think it was a better generation, if I'm being truthful. Yeah. You know, didn't really offend anyone, just spoke spoke what they thought. Yeah. You know, and we're, and we're genuine people. I used to get scared on the way back from football if I hadn't played very well. I knew if <laughs> he'd tell me the truth in the car. And, you know, like you've got a bit of fear for them in a, in a good mm. way, you know, because you care yeah. about what they say, but they don't, they won't hold back what they think. But Who's like that? Fear. You had a session with him today, Jimmy, Jimmy Tibbs. Tibbs. is the same, he'll tell me the truth it was as well. Tibbs, yeah. yeah, Jimmy Tibbs. Mm. Right. He'll tell you when you're doing something wrong and he'll tell you when you're doing something good. And that's the best way to be, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Honesty. There's no honesty anymore, I'm afraid. No, it's all got to be positive. Yeah. Anything uh, negative. Yeah. Not that's that's anything, anything negative. negative. No. Even if it's true. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. That's like you with Emily. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You were too good to Emily. Oh, yeah. no, you, yeah, no, you, Emily. Yeah. Oh, you mean I was lying? Yeah. 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 <laughs> now I'm being brutal. Yeah. 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 Brutal. What was the truth, Kenny? Total rubbish. Yeah. 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 There we go. No, no, it was, right. it was in June, <laughs> and the words were right, but yeah, she right. wasn't harmonising like I don't know about that. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Harmonising is different gravy. Yeah. So funny. If you're heard, I'm heard into you. Well, you've got a few songs out, haven't you? Maybe the other one's got the songs out. You're right, you're singing a country song, haven't you? Yeah, I'll do it, actually. So does Johnny. Sometimes you gotta run away, live your life a different way, don't always do what people say. Cause in this whole life, you gotta follow your heart, and I guess that's the country way. Big thing, country music. Yeah, Johnny's got a verse in that song. Take a look around, you've got all you need. The stars and the stripes of the land of the free. What's up, you in Ruben? What music are you into then? I like country music. We do, like country do you? Music. Yeah. There's some great songs in that. Yeah. We like that genre. We went to the O2 to watch that Country to Country Festival. It was sold out, wasn't it? Yeah. That's that's got a lot of fans. Or the arena. Yeah. Yeah. So All three tiers were like 20, full, full up. There you go. <laughs> Did you watch the fight of the weekend? No, Joe no, 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 didn't. No, it was there. Yeah. Who'd you go with, did you? Yeah. Yeah. Joe, Joe's a good friend of Johnny's yeah. and ours, and yeah. he, unfortunately, come up against Zang on the night was was the better man yeah. on the night. Yeah. It happens in, but yeah. I think Joe will be back. I think a good fight. Yeah, see how, right, I can yeah. see how Joe can beat. It's not the sort of one you think, oh, Joe's got no chance in the rematch. Yeah. You can see how what Joe's got to do to win. He just yeah. he came in a bit light. We've got the tactics wrong. He's got. To be but let's be good. honest. But it's not over. No. Let's be honest. It was only stopped, obviously, because of his eye, right decision as well. But I think if it had gone another six rounds, I think Joe could have won. He could have turned it around. Well, yeah. because in the 80s, it right. would have gone another six rounds. Yeah, you're yeah. Be no, in the oh. 80s. You're, you see, remember some of those fights were brutal, weren't they? Oh, like 15 oh, yeah, yeah. And the referees never, you know, never stop. But the good thing is, fights he's, much, he's got no serious damage, Joe. Just swelling, yeah. So have it. looked a lot worse than what it was, so the ref's done But he couldn't, he couldn't see out of it. And when Zang was trying the right hand, he was hitting because he couldn't see. Yeah, the ref done the right thing, totally. Time but I think him. Joe losing in hindsight will be a good thing for him because people will want to fight him now. So it'll open it up. It'll open it up because people, people people will probably want to avoid Zhang now. You know, you get people going, what, what do I want to face him for? Yeah, yeah. It's all good night's work. Whereas it's, going back to the 80s, there wasn't as much avoidance back no. then, was there? Well, there weren't as many governing bodies, there weren't as many yeah, politics. Course, you know, yeah. people just fought each other, didn't they? So they're mm -hmm. going to do rumours about a massive tournament now in Saudi Arabia, mm -hmm. isn't there? Four fighters, but I don't know how they're going to do that because it's hard enough to make it. Fury, Wilder, AJ and but what they do now is they quite cleverly, by the time you get to your big fights where it's a pivotal moment and you win or lose, you're in or out, you've had so, you've had quite a few fights on the way up. You've made by then you've made your done. Yeah, yeah. so you're not bothered about it. It's, yeah. it's clever. But it's it's about making yeah. your money. Yeah. 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 So by the time you have that make or break fight, you've got yeah. nothing. It don't really matter if you lose it. Not like the ones you go from no. the 70s and the 80s. You had fighters. You've got the world champions, and then you, you a few years later you realise they've it's not blown money. it all like yeah. some have done, but they just genuinely didn't make the. Yeah, America's much. That's no. where you. You get people that were clever. Some of the managers were clever. Like some of the it's having the right people around you. Yeah, totally. So I've been told. That's the story I've been told about managers that look after people like him. You know, it's like anything in life. You've got to have the right people guiding you. Whether you're a singer, whether you're a sportsman, sportswoman. Yeah. If you've got people that around you that care for you, you know, like you say, well, I've, I've earned this. Like what you said, invest that, do that. Yeah. Then you'll be all right. But if you've got people, oh look, you've got that money. Come, let's go out. Let's enjoy it. Yeah, let's go. Yeah. Let's go on holiday. Let's go and do this, do that. As well, and, and then, and then when when you lose a fight, then people are nowhere yeah. to be seen. Don't worry, Johnny. That's, that's true in everything. Yeah. Yeah. that's true actually. in everything. Eddie Earl just messaged you. It was a voice message. All right. Oh, Eddie, you're your <laughs> friend. He never messages me, Eddie. You've got to message me more, mate. Make me feel love. Eddie, <laughs> yeah. Eddie yeah. show, show him the love. love. Eddie, show me the love. Yes. Yeah. Eddie, make love to him. Eddie. Oh, look. Eddie Earl just left me a message, actually. Shall we see what he's got to say? Eddie the Eagles messaging you. No, not Eddie the Eagle. It ain't that good. It's Eddie Hearn. Oh, Eddie Earn. Yeah. Oh, what? Not Eddie Earn. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake, not Eddie Earn.
Well, Eddie, he owes me a ball mirror. <laughs> All right then, let's just see what he's got to say. Hello, Johnny boy. Just a quick one, mate. I hope you're doing well. Um, I've heard you've got the old Kenny Thomas round. Huge fan, huge fan, thinking about your love and all that. Anyway, I feel a little bit mugged off, John, that you haven't asked me to come round yet. But, um, well, well, I'm pretty heartbroken, to tell you the truth, John. Oh, I love a Chinese. But the main reason I'm calling, John, is I'm in a bit of a pickle. I've gone to the old toilet, as you do. I've done my zip up. And I've caught my left bollock on my zip. And a uh, bit of a problem. Gone into the ladies' toilet by mistake. So I can't exactly walk out my bollocks on show, do you know what I mean? So could you come pick me up, mate? I'm just in Iceland picking up a quiche. But yeah, cheers, mate. Oh, Eddie, calm down. Oh, go on then. Right, so ask the first question. Go go for it. it was now time to ask Kenny some questions. We gave you, the Bosch Army, and view in public, the chance to submit a question for Kenny. And now it was time for him to answer. Bosch. Nurse8375 on Instagram has said, when he's not thinking about your love, what does he think about? When I'm not thinking about your love? Well, on, a, on a normal average day, yeah. I'm normally, well, with my kids, having four of them and being so young, I'm normally thinking about bed, getting them to bed. Yeah, sorting them out. Isn't after they go to bed, I always tell my kids, bedtime is the best time. Because yeah. once you've gone to sleep, you can, not, be, you can be free. Relax, yeah. yeah. You think about no, but on an on average day, I just think about all sorts of things. Definitely not thinking about anyone's love. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking about when's my next gig, when can I get to the studio. Well, I've got one these? quick one from Pick, Andy Pick White. School, the school run. Yeah. School run. Yeah. Andy White, White on holiday at the moment. Who's going to win the Premier League this year, or do you care? Truthfully, I probably don't. I've gone so off the ball with football over the last few years, so I'm not following it as like like I used to. But obviously. Uh, you know, you want your own team to win, Arsenal. don't you? Oh, Arsenal. I was born in Ivory, uh, born near Ivory in Islington. Oh. And uh, first match, 1974, my dad took me too. So, of course, you want the, I want the Gunners exactly. to win. Yeah. I've got another question. Someone said, Henry underscore Hayes Jones said, What happened to music, man? The decline is unbelievable. Went from you and Sam Cooke to Cardi B and Sam Smith. <laughs> okay. Great. All right, Sam Smith can sing, there's no doubt about that. I mean, okay. I wouldn't okay. put me in the <laughs> on par with Sam Cooke. Uh, what has changed? What's changed? Well, still, there's good songs being written, I would say, and some good productions, but it's a lot of technology has got into the hands of a lot of youngsters in a lot of bedrooms. Mm -hmm. So sometimes what you're hearing, if I certainly float around and listen to some of the mainstream radio stations, what you're hearing is just really tantamount amount of yeah. noise. Yeah, it's just crap. Yeah, and, and there's, you know, the music theory's not there anymore. Mm -hmm. You you go, just go listen to Quincy Jones and how he produced Michael Jackson and the space in the records. Someone, someone said so about Quincy Jones. Man. Yeah. Yep. I met him, I sang for him. You're a musician, you like more Quincy Jones than I sang for Quincy. Is it, Quincy. Is it true that Kenny worked with Quincy Jones? No. So what was he what was he and the experience like? I didn't work for him, work with him or for him, which I did, but I sang for him at an audience with Quincy Jones. I got to meet him and Rob Temperton mm -hmm. and, and uh, yeah, Beverly Knight was on that. What is your greatest memory from boxing? Greatest memory from boxing. What comes you to mean mind? boxing Straight myself? Yeah. Like anything, anything, anything. Boxing well, yourself. Well, in, like when, when you say that, what's the first thing that comes to your head straight away? Well, the first thing that comes to my head is always because my dad was the trainer and it was his gym and every bout I ever had, he was in my corner. Yeah. Really? So that's the best. That's the first yeah, thing that you yeah. Like, my dad was in the cor in the corner, and you know he's not around there, but you know he's so always he was always in my corner. Yeah. yeah. And he was great, and I don't forget doing having a fight once, and um, and he because he was a good, he was very good. <laughs> You know, technically, but with boxing, he could see what what would work. And I remember going out and doing a first round with one one lad. And um, my dad, when I came back and sat down in the stall, you know, my, my dad said, "Listen, son," he said, "You've got to go out there." He goes, "When he throws that right cross, he goes, I want you to dip underneath and go for the solar plexus. Bring your yeah. right and go in that solar plexus. That that is the punch for this for this bout uh, for this guy." Yeah. So I went out there and I waited for my opportunity, and the fellow threw his threw his right cross. So I went underneath, boom, right into the solar plexus. Gone. gone. He just was gone. It's not nice being hit in the sun. He was dead, gone. He, he, he had no wind. Right. He had no yeah. breath left in him. My dad said, so I had memories like that. My dad was just, he could see. Should you have hit Sam, that should you the, Sam Smith as hard as that? I Sam Smith. <laughs> Wouldn't the hand just sort of bounce off and all that sort of inflatable <laughs> gear? I like that, boy. He's so, he's so protective. He's somewhat hypernourished as well, isn't he? Yeah, he's hypernourished. Hypernourished. To all the hypernourished people out there, so we salute you. Question from General, on General on Kitten One. General Kitten One. Sounds suspect. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and a serious question. Mm. Biggest regret in your career? Ooh. 
biggest regret mm. coming serious, there. Serious yeah. question from the kitten. Um, there was one occasion where I was working with some producers, and but this one comes to mind. And I, I turned up to do a writing session, and I like I'm on time, bright and early, bang bang bang, works work. You know what I mean? Yeah. Most of the time. You on that. Although in the nineties I did spend a bit of time trying to get to the moon, and I got up there and it was a bit lonely and cold. <laughs> so I came back. But the thing is, um, I went to work with some producers, and uh, I turned up that morning. They'd been out. And they, instead of being ready to work and get crack on with it, they'd been out all night on on the on the on the old juice, you know. And they were hammered. And so I just kind of stayed for a while and thought, sod it, I can't do this one. But really, when you look back, I could have possibly pursued it. Said, okay, everyone makes a mistake and they yeah. they got hammered, but be you know forgive it and go back. But I didn't. But they ended ended up going on to be extremely extremely successful. Yeah. But then I went on to be successful in my own way with others. But you look back and think mm, maybe I should have yeah. just given the benefit of the doubt. Everyone gets hammered and has a bad day in the you know in the studio. Should I have gone back? But I didn't. I just thought no. I just found that it was a bit disrespectful. That you knew I was coming to work at Danish Studio and you'd been out and yeah. mashed it up all night. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Another question, Will. It's One a, more question. It's a weird one, you know. Well, there's a comment here. Um, give us some more tunes from Wu and Dave. Wu, more tunes Dave. coming. Have I got more tunes coming? Oh yes, yeah, yeah. We're, we're sitting on a few new records. Obviously, we put out more recently. Got it on time, and then before that, Contagious. Got it on and time. And then there are some some new ones. Yeah, some new ones coming for sure. Watch the space. Kenny Thomas is back. Yeah, we're not going to stop. He's no, back. No, stop. Stop. When you've been on tour, what's the weirdest or craziest thing that's happened when you've gone on tour somewhere? Yeah, it's but you can't. I've had a few moments. Yeah, <laughs> a few moments. What comes? Um, the, the box, box, let's put it this way. I've had, I've, had a few, I've had a few moments where the boxing's yeah. helped. Yeah. Boxing, I've, yeah, I've, yeah. Had, I've had, you know, there was a couple of gigs and one where a lad come for me on stage really? and went for it, yeah. So you came I don't know what you're saying. Get the fuck off stage, Kenny. Maybe his Get girlfriend off. was, you know, sort yeah, of yeah, into yeah. my music or he thought so. Was this when you were like in your... He was giving her a wink. I mean, was 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 in the 90s, yeah. Yeah, yeah. imagine that, your girlfriend is... Yeah, so, and, and I was on a stage. It wasn't that high above the crowd, but yeah, he went for it. And he came up and there to go. No, he came unstuck. Pretty badly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We was at, um, won't mention any names, we was at a boxing show. I won't say when it was. And the security, we was at like the front row, just behind the ring side. They're going, I'll oh, sit down because people are looking behind when the ring walk's coming in. And then security just stood right in front of us. So I went, Excuse me, if I've got to sit down, you've got to sit down. Mm. Right? You know what I mean? Deliberately right. blocking our view. Deliberately blocking the view. You know, listen, mate, I've paid for my ticket. You ain't. Mate, sit down. Not, Bouncers yeah. get an actual kick out of saying, Oh, you can't come in here. Yeah. Show me what they love. Oh, yeah, love them. Yeah, but that's, when, that's, that's when they're turning me away from the Chinese because they can't eat them. Yeah, they're trying, they're trying to help you. They cut this up. But bouncers, yeah. listen, let's, let's give bouncers an up as well because they must have to put up with a lot so of crap. Oh, yeah. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Oh, let's like, be, we see both sides of it. Like, 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 no, when people have had too much to drink, i tell you what, the, I, it must be the worst thing to do. Well, I remember one gig that we did, and it was uh, Ritzy. There was a club in Tottenham called the Ritzy. It's used to have one in Montford. Yeah, it's, it was a big club there. It was when things were going off, starting to outstanding, was just taking yeah. off. And it was the first gig where we went, went on stage, and it was it was packed with, with girls, right? Yeah. Absolutely packed with girls. And right when the record was about to explode, and, and within a few weeks we'd be on, on TV on top of Pops. And that was when the whole crowd just rushed the stage. Yeah, yeah. That was like a, a Beatles moment. <laughs> you know? Yeah. And um, and the bouncers, literally, because I'm only a little fella and I really, they, 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 they picked me up. Really? So I remember, <laughs> one minute I'm on stage, <laughs> then I've got this vision of all these, these girls just going <laughs> like savages. And, they, I bet you and the, next thing, the, air, the next thing I can feel that I'm actually being moved out of the venue <laughs> and my feet are not on the ground. <laughs> So the bouncers must have thought he's small enough, right? <laughs> um, it's like a girls ring up, right? And they got me out of a side door. No, two they two are, bouncers. They, they are good. They, they get a bad and name, gone. but they do do a tough job. Yeah. They, I wouldn't yeah. want to do it. Yeah. No, no, no way. Dealing with drunk people, people is not fun. It's, it's bad enough being married to one, yeah. let alone dealing with a drunk one. person. Yeah. Yeah. That's why she burns in the morning. That's why she burns in the morning. Look at her, she's Oh, oh, that's what all the alcoholics say, yeah. Charlotte. That's what all the fat people say, yeah, like me. I don't eat. Yeah. <laughs> all the hypertension, is it? Yeah. Hypernourishment. Hypernourishment. All the questions done. Yeah, that's a, that's a is that as good as it got. Yeah. Have you got one? Yeah, have you got a risque one? one? Mine have gone. No. Well, the the only one have one you got a risque one? one? Imagination was, was how how big was your core? <laughs> What's a Corey? Is this a new rhyming slang? Yeah, it just means like, how big's your TV remote at home? Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Like, 
Johnny, can you kiss me up some fit rolls, please? I'm auditioning you up for fit rolls. Come on. Come on, let him have it. I can't, I can't get over. I don't want to, like, be a big. I don't want to be hypertension. Is it hyper... What is it? Stop it. Look at this. Look, Kenny's a gentleman, look. Hyper nourished. Hyper nourished. Right now nourished, but the opposite. Kenny, can you pass me a spoon? Yeah, please. And now it was game time. Each player has 30 seconds to name as many Chinese dishes as they can. First up was Big John, and this wasn't his first rodeo. Go. Plain charming, chicken charming, pork charming, beef charming, fried rice, uh, special fried rice, chicken fried rice, pork fried rice, sweet and sour chicken balls, sweet and sour pork balls, sweet and sour prawn balls, kung po prawns, salt and chili chicken, salt and chili prawns, barbecue roast spare ribs, uh, Chinese roast duck, uh, Cantonese duck, sweet and sour shredded chili beef, uh, sweet and sour hot, no, Hong Kong style pork chops, chips, pork crackers, curry sauce, barbecue sauce, lemon sauce, sweet and sour sauce, fruit, um, two, pancake roll, mini pancake one. roll, plain Stop. veg. Stop. Count how many you got? Oh, okay. Stuart, that's your draw. Oh. 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 That was a rusty performance. That, very that was very good. That was a rusty. Big John sets the bar with an impressive combination of dishes that rolled off the tongue with an arrogant eloquence. And the results are in. A score of 28. Not his best, but a solid performance nonetheless. Up next, J Bone. Pork balls, chicken balls, prawn balls, salt and pepper chicken, salt and pepper squid, salt and pepper prawns, salt and chili chicken, salt and chili squid, salt and chili prawns. How special chow man, how, how special fried rice, egg fried rice, special fried rice, beef and black bean sauce, beef Cantonese style, sweet and sour chicken and Kong style, sweet and sour pork and Kong style, sweet and sour prawns and Kong style, Kung Po beef, Kung Po prawns, Kung Po chicken, uh, uh, spring rolls, uh, pancake roll, uh, aromatic duck, uh, uh, duck Cantonese style, duck Chinese two, style. Uh, one, stop. What it is, we're trying that? to get too competitive here. 27, not enough to dethrone Big John. Big John remains top dog. The Kingpin, the Governor, but could Kenny Thomas, soul singing legend, change all that? Let's find out. Sweet and sour beef. Bloody hell, I can't do this. I said can't do this. Sweet and sour chicken Hong Kong style, sweet and sour chicken Cantonese style, crispy chili beef, uh, seaweed, squid seaweed, uh, crispy seaweed, squid with uh, salt and pepper, squid, um, uh, egg foo young, um, Egg fried rice, uh, Singapore noodles, sweet and sour pork balls, um, chicken balls, any balls, loads of balls, <laughs> it's all of balls. <laughs> oh, Kenny T, not good, but not bad, but maybe stick to the singing. Cause I'm thinking about your love today, tonight and always. Anyway, the Wilbur Cross is up next. Bosh. How many chips? That's good. That's pretty. That's good. That's just not good. Chips. Salt and chili chips. Salt and pepper chips. Salt and chili chicken. Salt and pepper chicken. Salt and chili beef. Salt and pepper beef. <laughs> salt and pepper pork chops. Salt and chili pork chops. Salt and pepper ribs. Salt and chili ribs. Um, sweet and sour chicken. Hong Kong chicken. Kung Po chicken. Kung Po beef. Kung Po prawns. Um, Kung Po lamb. Pork balls. Prawn balls. <laughs> Special fried rice, egg fried rice, chicken chow mein, beef chow mein, prawn chow mein, house special chow, chow mein, Time. barbecue salt. Wow, I bet he's won check there. you out. Yeah, yeah I bet he's done. won that one. Well, you're good at something yeah, for Check it. you out. Thank you, Kenny. He won that one, didn't he? Not a bad effort from the old Wilbertross with 25, but with 28, Big John remains king of the hill. But up next, we've got a wild card. Some say he's Nigel Farage's body double, and some say he actually is Nigel Farage. But we'll let you be the judge of that. To us, He's known as the flag man, and he's up next. He's thought we're paying more for fruit. Brexit, bloody hell, Farage. Right, go. Chicken balls, prawn balls, pork balls, chicken chow mein, chicken chow mein with mushrooms, um, chips, uh, sweet seaweed, um, chow mein, <laughs> mushroom chow mein, no fucking mushroom chow mein, mate. Um, Shit. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's on it. Fried rice. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, Hong Kong style noodles, Singapore noodles. Fruit. Um, Two. Uh, curry sauce. One. Stop. Stop. That's poor. <laughs> the flag man. The flag How many man. do you think? Oh, I can't okay. How many do you think? I reckon eleven. I reckon nine. No, it was actually. It was actually. Believe it or not, it was. It was. If you take the shit out, yeah. it was. Um, 16. Oh, that's not bad. Oh, well, just, uh, so we've all done over 20, is it? I just want to say, 
Won't go into detail, but massive yes. shout out to Kenny. This is a one clever man. No, go and get my book. What is your book? Called Bearing My Soul, and it's on Amazon.co.uk. That's the best place to get it. And we're going to do a rerun of them soon. It's just going from my back to eight back. As soon as we get the new rerun, and I've got some, I'm going to send one to you. Lovely. I didn't well, have any to bring, but I would have. He didn't want to bring me one. one. Yeah. But Full I will cutting. bring you one. Right. Because we're Next doing time. a new run of them. Yeah. Right. And um, yeah, Thank it's you. called Bearing My Soul. Get it on Amazon.co.uk. And that unpacks the rock and roll, the naughty bits. And the, the bad bits where you can't say Chinese menu. Rock and roll. Rock and the bit where I can't pronounce Chinese, uh, yeah. Yeah. Menu. All in the book. I know a little well, bit. I did come up with Egg Fu Young. Yeah, 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 yeah that's a new one. He questioned it. That's a new oh, one. That's old school, yeah. though, isn't it? I've heard of it, yeah. I've never, we've probably never he ever. He thought I was making it up. Yeah, see, on the no, spot. no, no. Was, Just like he thought he was making up salt and pepper mm. pork chops. Yeah. It's not on the Chinese takeaway menu, though, is it? No, but I saw it yesterday and I ordered it, so it is on the menu. Yeah. Pork and lamb. Was it pork or lamb? Pork chops. It was like pork fillets. Right, in like a batter with salt. Did he say Chinese pork chops? Yeah. 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 Salt and pepper. That's disqualification. Well, it could have been, but I ate them yesterday, Kenny, in a Chinese restaurant in China. Oh, right, we know you ate them yesterday. Yeah. I, I was in bloody Manchester, do I? Hours. Oh, that makes that's different. Up north. Yeah. Up north, <laughs> yeah, it's different. Up world up there. What? Again, congealed curry sauce, not roulette this time because we haven't got a lazy Susan. Basically, word association game, five rounds. Each round it goes up to whatever the round is, spoonfuls you've got to eat if you get it wrong. So if you're round five, you've got to have five tablespoons or teaspoons. What? But you can, <laughs> you can be offered a forfeit instead of having a curry sauce. But I don't hardly lick in my balls. But, it's <laughs> roll. Cake. Plate, spoon, fork, knife, bowl, soup, lentil. Right, you're lucky. It's round one. Round one. Yeah. It's just one spoonful. One spoonful. One spoonful. Or forfeit. What do you want to do? One or forfeit? No, I'll take the one peg. What can a forfeit be? You have to discuss. We have to discuss for each time. Yeah, Kenny's getting worried. No, no, I'm never worried, mate. Yeah. No, no, four spoonful. That's the worst one, yeah. Good. Took it like a man. Nice. No, it's not too bad. No, that's all right. You got any chips? Five of them. For me, texture. Yeah. Doable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah it's when you try right. and swallow it, it stays yeah. there. Right, well done, Stuart. The higher you get, the more you need to do the forfeit. Right, we're ready. Stuart, you start. Fridge. Freezer. Cooker. Oven. Baked. Cake. Strawberry. Pie. Pineapple. Fruit. Banana. Fruit. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, What's wrong with yeah. fruit, man? No, it was, was, you, um, was you flagging pie. up one of the others? Pie, uh, what did you say? Pie. Pie. Are you said strawberry? Pie. 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 Pineapple. You can have a pineapple. Pie. Pie. You can have a pineapple. Pie. 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 You can have a pineapple pie. pie. That's William. That's William. No. Pineapple pie. Yes, you can. Look it up. I can see the pineapple pie. Pineapple pie. I love a pineapple pie. Yeah, yeah, I actually want to Yeah, but it's just not yeah. common, is it? Yeah, it's not common, but it doesn't matter. It's not matter. common, Lentils you still have it. Common. Lentils yeah. are very common. Right, so it's weird. I've never that came off the back of soup. Even Ben right? says so it. Where's Toa? Check out. Pineapple pie. I've had a fuck. I'm not doing nothing to do. Check it out. So William's got to do two. 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 Right, so one full. Two. A full full. You've got to ring up a random girl and tell her you love her. Yeah, that you really want to take her out. On loudspeaker. On loudspeaker. Oh. Oh. <laughs> That's a bit big, that. Level it, level yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Kenny. Kenny's too level fair. It, yeah. Thanks, Kenny. Probably worse at this one, though. Just might lose about them. Yeah. Come on, Will. He has got history, Kenny. Yeah. He has got history. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 put the seat ball. No, 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 <laughs> oh, 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 oh
Yeah, why did she come in? Look, mate. Right, right, right. Oh, do you want a full fit? Nah, bollocks. Oh, good man, look, he's having it. Oh, is it more? This is North London boys for you. Don't miss about. That's it. Well done, Kenny. Well done. Well done. Well done. No, no messing about. Grim. Duval, what's a duval? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's you know a duval. Well, go back this way now. It's a one word, all right? We're going back yeah, around. Yeah. Coat. Jacket. Jumper. Hats. Scarf. Shirt. Gloves. Fingers. Gloves. What's that mean? That's it. Are you saying it's This is round number four. I think four or four fit. What would you rather? Do you want to know what the four fit is? No. Do I want to? You can know what the four fit is. Okay, I'll. You've got to know what the four fit is. You've got to ring Brad up and tell him that he is the ultimate flag man and you're just the imposter. No, that's easy. Level, level, four. This is the story of the flag man. And it all began here. This was Stuart. He started to earn a name for himself as a bit of an odd man on the terraces when he was watching the boxing. He loved the scrap of a rival firm. And stories tell of how when he's having a scrap, he always wears his flag like a cape, like he's some sort of supervillain. And this had earned him the name, the Flag Man. But word got round, and the Flag Man seemed to have made an enemy in Triple B, Big Bad Brad. Although they were part of the same firm, Triple B always thought he was the original flag man because he too brandishes his flag with pride whenever he can. It was a battle of ego. Triple B was making TV appearances, wearing his flag, trying to claim the title of the flag man. But as they were part of the same firm, Big John's firm, it's unlikely the two would go at each other out of respect for the Bosch army. Instead, there was talk that they'd team up, partners in crime, and become one, the flag men. I guess we'll have to wait and see. Young Stuart, there's a new flag man in town. And oh, where is the flag man? Oh, 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 the flag man. <laughs> Four, there's a bit of uh, Kenny spit in that bit. <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> I've had worse. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> I think Stuart, Stuart don't mind it. Two. <laughs> the next one's the last one. Five, three, one more. <laughs> you can't hold, you can't hang back, you've got to go. Oh, it's a hair in that one. Oh, oh, it's a hair in that one. You can't explain that, Right, last round, and Stuart starts and it goes around this way. Door. Hinge. Handle. Frame. Picture. Face. Eyes. Lips. Cheeks. Tongue. Face. <laughs> <laughs> No, well I thought I'd known. <laughs> that was just a, that went that was a bit of pain, wasn't it? Alright, not not the right before he'd be paid. Let's see what the forfeit was Stuart. Full fit. What about ring up Brad? 20 press ups. You've got to ring up Jennifer and say something. What, 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 ring up Brad and give him some abuse down the phone. You've got to ring up Brad on the speaker. Who is Brad? No, he's our mate. He's our mate, he's a good laugh. Is he good at taking stick? Yeah, you've got to ring Brad on the speaker and just go, Brad, I just I want to tell you something. And then he'll say what and you go, yeah. Yeah, and just see what he says. It's time. Yeah, we up. Hello, mate. All right, Brad. How you going? Yeah, I'm all right. Brad. Yes. Brad. Yes, mate. You, are you there? Yeah, I'm there. All right. I'm in trouble. I'm in a bit of trouble, Brad. <laughs> Pardon? What's the matter? Can you pop round? Where are you? Where am I? Yeah. I'm just outside yours. You I'm a bit further down, Brad. What number are you? Right. Look right. No, you're left, <laughs> innit? Outside your ass. Look left. By the train hole. Down a bit further down. <laughs> Brad, I can see ya. Yeah? Can, yeah? can you? Yeah. Can you yeah. I, just, I just, I just need you to just give us a, a little push. What do you mean go on? I like, I like to welcome you to the table of uh, Big John Chinese. Yay! Yay! <laughs> 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 I need 
excited, mate, because I've cocked up about three times on the, uh, the on Curry, Curry Eaton channel. channel. Oh. Oh. One more, one more. Because on. uh, you, he's done a full fit, one more bonus round. How many spoons on a bonus five. round? Five. Nah, so bad. It's a bonus round. It's a bonus round, so it's just free. Free, right. yeah, free. Mm -hmm. Bonus round is a free. Right, Ooh. Stuart, you start because you've done the last one. Right, go this way. Go. Deval. Beer. Belgium. Stella. Artois. Belgium. I'm so glad that you. Well, what would you do? It's just so glad that you did a second chance. He's done the forfeit well, so we'll give him a second chance. What? Oh, my God. Alright, I'm not doing this. What do you mean? I'm not doing it. If it comes on me, I'm not doing three spoonfuls to do one because I will be sick. Yeah. I agree with that. That's the second Alright, go on. Where'd Johnny's head fight? I'm not doing this because if you hit me, it might hurt. Pepsi. Max. Coke. Lemonade. Orange Aid. Lemon juice. Orangina. Fanta. Yeah, lemon juice is too wise. <laughs> 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 See, I'll do the forfeit. No, there's no forfeit. This is a bonus oh, round. No, I'll do the forfeit. Right, forfeit. Sing one of Kenny's songs. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> a good, a good, uh, a good verse. Yeah, got a lyric song. It's just still just waiting for it to. Thinking about it. your love. I'll be there. Ladder. Thinking about you. I can't I need to wait. This is just still like that. Going right. back now. You can put up an extra if you want. I know it's hard you. sometimes. You can get discouraged. <laughs> when it seems <laughs> as though our working <laughs> lives are keeping us apart. Put your trust in me, oh baby, don't you worry. And it won't be long now. So we must be strong. Times I know I let you down so badly. I never knew then what losing your love would mean to me. Ask for anything, I'll give it to you gladly. Because oh, you're, 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 you're part of me now, and you must believe that. If you're hurt, I'm hurting too. Thinking about your love. If you need someone to care. I'll be there. Can't you sure. should know I'll never change. Cause I'm thinking about your love tonight, okay. today, and always. Yay! But can we just admit that like, I was better than Emily? Better yes. than Emily. Yeah. Better than Emily. So Emily. Not as good as, not as, good as William. William. William's got the voice but better than Emily. I've got the pipes in peace. Yeah. <laughs> better than Emily. That was very good. Oh. That. Yeah. yeah, it wasn't bad. Enjoyed it. That wasn't a forfeit. That was yeah, that wasn't a forfeit. No, it was. Very good, I wasn't good. And it was official. Kenny Thomas was in the book. Soul singing legend and true gentleman. Kenny, thank you for coming. Bosh. Kenny Thomas? Kenny Thomas? There you go. I thought it was Rick Astley. <laughs> Never gonna give you up. <laughs> they won't let you down. They're gonna run around, around on and hurt you. <laughs> They've got to get. They've got to get. <laughs> <laughs> Kenny Thomas. Good man, Kenny. We'll see you soon. Thanks for having Appreciate you coming, mate. Kenny. Hypernourish. 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 Don't insult anyone. Do it in no. a polite way. You're hypernourished. If you're hypernourished, we're on the same path. Kenny, it's been a pleasure, and to the viewers. Thank you for watching episode 7. Let us know in the comments who you want to see next. Bosh.